Good afternoon. This is Miss JJ Diamond, Jackie, Jacqueline Richardson, Deja, whatever y'all call me. Um, I, I needed to make a second podcast today, uh, so I'm not going to go through the good mornings and it's the good afternoon now, good evening. Um, I wanted to talk about the pipeline um, between Canada and America. A lot of people is very disappointed about that with Biden. Um, yeah, they're very disappointed. And I get it. I get it. I can get why the people are disappointed. You know, I had someone bring it to my attention yesterday. You know. However, y'all know that I am environmental. Okay. <laughs> I'm one of God's warriors. So I am I'm environmental. So y'all know whose side I'm going with on this one. That would be Biden. I'm sorry, y'all guys. I know y'all going to be mad with me. But I'm going to tell y'all why. Okay? You need to understand why. And I know what the backlash is going to be. You know, that means the oil and the gas is going to go up. However, they plan for this. Okay? This is why certain things were implemented years upon years ago because they planned for this. Now, Canada, y'all know I love you guys. I love, I've always loved you guys. Y'all always been very good to me, you know. Um, always showed me a lot of love and respect when I come to y'all country, you know. Um, however, I believe in God. You know, and the effects that it's going to put in our environment and our, on, our, on our earth can be deadly to more people than it's really worth. You know, um, y'all have to look at the big picture. You know, um, we're talking about oil spills, you know, um, being put in our waters, you know, which contaminates our fish. Um, that's all we have if we don't have any money is to be able to fish and eat. So if the water's contaminated, you take that away from us. Okay, now this is just my theory. I just want you to understand. Now, Canada, I know y'all are our sister country. Y'all have been there for us and y'all have loved us like we are part of y'all and I I would think that y'all will have the heart to continue to but you have to look at the big picture you know um I will hope within the next 10 years you know um people will buy electric cars that way we won't have to worry about gas you know um there's people still riding horses here in the country, okay? Even in Maryland, people brought out their horses and start riding horses around, you know, because they don't want to pay for the gas. The gas is just too expensive. I hear people, you know, I had a veteran yesterday, he ran up on me. <laughs> God bless his soul. <laughs> he told me, he said, you know, I remember when gas was, uh, uh, I think he said 16 cents a gallon. No, 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 no. One of his people came out of the military when gas was 16 cents a gallon, and they thought that was high, okay? And um, I was telling him, I said, the, the, the lowest I can remember, you know, in my lifetime so far is 99 cents. And he looked at me crazy, you know, he knew I was young. You know, um, I'm young, but I'm old. You know, I'm young to some people, to the to the elders, but I'm old to the young, you know, the young ones, you know, so I'm in the middle right now. But um, he just looked at me like 99 cent. That ain't cheap. <laughs> but it was cheap to me at the time, you know, and I would drive, y'all. I would drive from Buffalo City to, what was it, Tatawanda, I believe. I would drive out to Tatawanda to get gas because it was so cheap. It was 99 cents a gallon. I'd be able to fill up my van. I had a van 
Because y'all know I used to take the kids all around. I had a burgundy van, Dodge Caravan. And I would go out there and I would fill up my tank. 99 cents a gallon. And you look at some of the prices of gas going up and, and oil as well. You know, it's always been high, you know, to a person that has to pay for this stuff on a regular basis. I grew up in a home that was heated with oil. Okay. I know that that's pretty much unheard of for, for, for some of the new houses. You know, everything now is electric and, 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 um, and gas. Um, but I grew up in a home where um, we needed oil, you know, in order to heat our home. And it would cost, in order for them to come out, and I'm going to just be honest with y'all, I have to tell y'all the truth. Y'all know I try to tell y'all as much truth as possible. $800, okay? $800 for them to even come out. If they wasn't getting $800, they was not coming out to put no oil. Do you know how hard it is to get up $800 to heat your home once a month? It's not that easy. You know, so I get it. I get it. I get it. I understand where people, you know, because there's still there's still old money out here. People are still living. You know what I mean? And they're heating their homes with oil. You know, um, they don't have the money to convert over, you know, um, and, and I get it. I understand where y'all going with this, why, why y'all so angry. But for the most part, it can damage us even more by keeping it long term. Okay. And this is what y'all need to see. You know, I'm not saying that <clears throat> Biden is going to be wrong for everything and he's not going to be right for everything he does. But you have to look at the big picture. Okay. What is it? Our environment is already messed up. The people can barely breathe. Do y'all see what's happening in California? How the trees are just setting fire because there's not enough moisture in the air. Are y'all paying attention to that? It happened in Australia and it happened here in America. That is so hot and not enough moisture in the air for the trees to, to reserve their water So when it gets too hot, it's like they turn into fire. And, you know, wood, once it starts, you know, the trees, the, 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 the base of the tree, not the leaf, is wood. And wood burns. Okay? So, you know, y'all have to look at the big picture. People's lives are at stake. Not only the animals. And don't get me wrong. Y'all know I love the animals. I love the wildlife. You know, I got induced to a lot of the wildlife when I went to, when I moved to Buffalo. Then when I came to Maryland, I got induced to more wildlife. And now that I'm here in North Carolina, I got induced, I got introduced to more wildlife. We are the protectors of these animals. It's in the Bible. We can't do things that's going to continue to kill them. Okay? This is just going to come back to us. You know, and I mean, I'm just giving it from my perspective. You know, I mean, everybody has their theories, you know, and then the government got a lot of things that they're doing wrong. And hopefully one day they'll get it right. And the reason why they'll get it right is because we constantly tell them. We have to tell them. We have to be a voice for ourselves. You know, um, but with this one here, I respect his judgment. In Canada, I hope that this doesn't change the love that y'all have for me, you know, because um, I'm not changing my love for you guys. But sometimes we have to break ties on certain things because it's going to hurt people and the long run. Our government here in America has allowed electric cars to be a part of our new transformation in the new millennium. Okay? <clears throat> and with that transformation, <coughs> excuse me, 
excuse me, <coughs> with that transformation, <coughs> ooh, I need water. With that transformation, they're giving you incentives, okay? Because they know that if they don't make this transformation, see what they're trying to do, and let me break it down to y'all like this. What they're trying to do is save us a little bit longer, okay? Where if we keep putting bad stuff into the environment, eventually it's going to infiltrate, okay? Meaning it's going to fight back, okay? We got a lot of stuff going on in America, the American land, you know, We'll be having volcanoes, earthquakes. Um, I can literally feel when it's going to rain. Literally. In my head. I know a rain, a rain cloud is coming. Okay? People can feel it in their bodies. It's never been like that. And that's because the environment is getting worse and worse. And eventually it's going to turn on us. Do you want God's creation to turn on us? The Bible says the next time it turns on us, it's going to be fire. Who wants to be all burned up? I know I don't. Because all these gases... Are going to create bombs in the air. On its own. So you have to look at the big picture here. Okay. Man yes has created this stuff. And it's a wonderful thing that he has created. How we can heat our homes. How we can drive cars. And all of this stuff. But. It's tearing up our environment. So with that being said, we have to figure out a way to slow it down because it's already destroyed. You know, who wants to go to bed and not know if they're going to wake up tomorrow because the earth infiltrated on us? I mean, this is the reality of it. We want to see the kids that's born today live tomorrow. It's not always about the, the, the power of money. It's people's lives at stake. I know America has probably dug all through this place to see if we had any oil <laughs> or any gas lines. Okay, anyway, we could get some. When they decided to, whoever bought this country and put it together didn't realize all of this was going to happen. And it's not only happening here, people. It's happening everywhere. I trust Biden's judgment on this. Because I want to live. I want to live. And that's just the bottom line. You know, and it's a lot of a lot of us that want to live. You know, I mean, I know we we know that some of you people got death wish and y'all, you know, y'all angry with life. We get it. Because you got to have the finest of everything. You have to eat uh, a certain way. You have to dress a certain way. You got to have certain drinks. It's got to cost a certain amount of money. Be the finest of the finest. We realize that. But if you don't live (laughs) to do those things, what does it matter? Egypt, I'm on a podcast. We have to think about these things. We have to think about the well-being of 
They're animals and we have to think of the well-being of, of the human beings. So I trust judgment on it. And I'm going to keep saying that to y'all. Like I said, I know a lot of people going to be angry with me. You know, I had to hear about it yesterday. You know, as I'm riding around, I had to hear about how he's such a fool and this and that and blah, 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 you know. And I get it. I get it. They're angry because stuff is going up. But getting back to these electric cars, I want to talk to you about the electric cars. I know <laughs> it's going to be hard for people to adjust, you know, just like people had to adjust from riding horses to driving a vehicle, you know. Um, it's going to be hard for y'all to adjust to use an electric vehicle, okay. And the perks that come with owning an electric vehicle, you know, because they're not that expensive, but they're a little up there, you know, um, and they have some that, like Chevy has one um, called the Volt, you know, um, I was looking into that and I'm thinking about, you know, purchasing that one because it's a little bit cheaper than the Tesla, you know, even though y'all know I want a Tesla, you know, I, I, I do because the Tesla drives by itself. You know what I mean? So, and they have, I think, is it the BMW electric vehicle that drives by itself? I don't know. But anyway, I've been doing my research on some of these electric vehicles, but, um, the point that I'm trying to make is they're giving you perks with this. They're giving you tax breaks for this. It's like if you bought a house. Okay? So you see the benefit that the government is doing for you to help you with this transition. Okay? We don't always like every transition. You know, it's just like when a baby's transitioning, you know, from being a baby to a toddler. You know? Like, you know, I, I love, you know, <laughs> my little, my grandbaby, you know, I forgot about that transition, you know, and he's, he's going from a, being a baby to a toddler where he doesn't want to be held like a baby or treated like a baby because he has his independence, but there's things that he doesn't understand. Okay. So he acts out because of it. Okay. Or he may um, have a tantrum because of it. Okay. Because he doesn't understand why. You know, and then you have these older people as well. You know, they, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm shout out to my uncle, you know, um, my uncle Robert. I love him. You know, he has transitioned well to the new, you know, the new way of things, you know, um, with the, the Tesla, you know. And he said, you know, he said, Jackie, the only thing I don't like about it is it's in. He was seriously strong about this when he was talking to me about it. He said, when you're traveling, you have to stop so 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 many times to get it recharged. And then you got to wait a whole hour. Where with gas, you fill it up and you get back on the highway, you know. So... When he was talking, like I said, when he was talking to me about it... It was like, okay, so if you're traveling, you know you got to sit still for a while. That's just the bottom line. You know, every so many miles, you got to sit still to get your charge back up to 100. But he didn't like it. I could see it in his face. That's not what he was used to. But he decided to try it. Now, he drove all the way from New York to North Carolina, which is a long ride. And he had to stop for an hour to get charged up, which made the trip a lot longer. So I get it, you know. Um, the transition is going to be hard. It's going to be time consuming. But it'll keep money in your pocket. You get a tax write-off. And you still got to pay to get it charged up some places. Um... But it wouldn't be like you're paying as much for gas. Okay. When it comes to heating your home. Okay. For those that um, heat their homes with. Oil. 
time to go to a home that has a fireplace. You have homes today that have electric fireplaces. And you have homes that have gas fireplaces. Now, I had a home in Maryland had a gas fireplace. Okay. That would be a bad ordeal. Okay. Or a regular fireplace. You can't never go wrong with a regular fireplace. Okay. Because you don't spend no money but just for the wood. And if there's some broken down trees, you can cut them down and put it in there and set a fire. Okay. You don't always have to have the heat on 70 or 80 burning up the oil. Okay, put on a sweater, put on a coat. You know, I used to laugh at Master P because he would walk around in the house with his coat on. And I noticed it, you know, he was on the show and I said, he got his coat on. I said, he just like me. He got the heat turned down (laughs) real low. (laughs) <laughs> so the bill won't be high, you know? You know, he's a businessman, so he got to manage all his money well, okay? And um, I said, damn, he just like me. I got this one sweater, okay? This one sweater is white and it's real thick. And when it get cold in the house, real cold, and I don't like the heat anyway, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I like to be in the warm, but I don't like too much heat because it affects my sinuses. I can't breathe. That dry heat tears me up real bad so i would get that sweater and i walk around the house in that sweater or i have on a a light jacket i walk around in the house with my jacket on all the time you know you would think i'm going somewhere but i ain't going nowhere i'm just staying warm you know or i start cooking dinner so i can warm up keep them bills down you know so pretty much what i'm trying to say is Y'all have to get used to the transition. Yes, it's going to go up because now they're going to have to pay more money for stuff in order to get it here. Okay. However, we have to think about the environment. We have to. We can't destroy the animals. We just can't because God forbid if anything happened, that's our food too. And if we destroy them, when we eat it, we're going to be destroyed. So you're going to look at the big picture. Okay. Money is not everything. Yes, it can help, but it's not everything. You can have all the money in the world and sickness and death is not going to pass you by. Okay? You can be a billionaire. Sickness and death is not going to pass you by. It's still coming for you. We all breathe the same air. And where it may not affect some, the way it affects others, is why people don't understand. (laughs) But eventually, it will affect you. It's going to get to the point, I don't know if y'all ever seen that movie uh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger when he went to Mars. (coughs) And, And they had to pay for air. Do y'all want to get to that point where they're going to be charging us for air to breathe because our air outside is contaminated? It's bad enough we got to pay for water because it's contaminated. Every time you turn around, there's something in our water. Half of the time, I don't even want to take a bath in it. This is why I have my bath salt to try to kill the germs. When I take a bath in it, because sometimes I get out the bath, my skin be so dry, be itchy, saying, what is going on with me? Okay. Do it to the baby. Him, you know, he take a bath. He itchy too. They tried to tell me it was my age. Oh, you getting older. You get itchy when you get older. Okay, but what about the baby? He young. Why he itchy? Be something in the water. Then they have to put 
chlorine in the water or something they put in the water. You can smell it. One of my clients, they told me, um, she doesn't use that water. She, she takes her water and she does a process, you know, for her water. And, and I, I understood why she was doing that process because you just can never be sure. You know, they try to say that they're making the water right for us. But somebody may be slacking like they always do and messing up something. And then it'll be your, your turn to drink that water and you, then you're sick. And then the water is still exposed to the environment. Where the water comes from. It goes, it goes up into the air and then comes back down. It's all in the environment. So you got to learn the process of all of this stuff before you try to point the finger and because and, 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 you don't understand the process of all of these things and why it needs to be done a certain way to save our country, to save the people of our country. Okay. You go to different countries, you can't drink their water. You have to drink bottled water. Now they get into the into the thing. You look on TikTok and Facebook. It's telling us about the waters. You know, um, they're lying to us about this three dollar water. It, it's tap water. It hasn't been filtered. All of this nonsense, and we saying, well, where we say that. So you got to look at the, 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 the factors of this stuff. I knew where I was safe at when, my, when I was making my client's water. And if I wanted a good drinking, safe cup of water, I know I'd be safe at, you know, drinking her water. No bacteria. Even when water's sitting still. It gains bacteria. It may not kill us, but it still gains bacteria. That's why after water sits, you know, I'll I'll open the water. And I have a habit of this. You know, I'll open the water. I'll drink it. Forget that I opened it. Then I'll go. I need some more water. I'll go get me another bottle of water. And then those two waters are sitting. But then I'm seeing my money go down the drain because I bought this water. So then I'll be like, I don't care, you know, if it's bacteria in there or not. I'm going to drink it. And I, I drink it. Because I see my, 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 my money going down the drain from buying water. Something that used to be free. But because of our environment... We're subject to this. And something has to be done about it. For those that know Jackie, they would know how I was going to talk about it, you know, because or how I was going to express myself about this issue. Because, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't kill animals, you know. Um, only fish. I will fish and kill a fish. Uh, I'll gut a fish and fry him up. Um, I couldn't sleep after my uncle. I don't know if I ever told you all the story. When I caught the tortoise and my uncle cut his head off in Virginia. He was in Richmond. My uncle Luther cut the head off all over my brand new Adidas. And I couldn't sleep because of that thing. You know? Like, oh my God, he killed the animal. I was just, I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, I love the animals. You know, so I I get it. And I love the people too. And if you're godly, you're going to love. You're going to love people. You know, you're going to love the animals. You're going to love the environment. Because this is God's environment. He created this. We don't want it to be where, you know how we go on nature walks now. Or we go out and run. Well, we can't do that no more because we can't even breathe. We don't want that. We want to be able to go out on nature walks. We wanted to be able to go hiking or, you know, I, I used to go in the mountains in uh, Maryland, 
Rock Steak Park. Go up to the King Queen seat so I can see the King and Queen seat, you know. And it's all about the eagles, the birds, you know, because they fly high and they soar. You know, they can deal with the altitude, you know. I would go up into the mountains and I can't breathe. I'd be like, <gasps> taking deep breath, I couldn't breathe. And I was up high. But now it's getting to the point where people can't breathe and they're not even in the mountains. So, I mean, it's just something to think about, y'all. Y'all, need, y'all really need to, to think about it, you know. You notice that the birds are starting to come down to the ground a lot more. You know, they're not soaring as much as they used to. The eagle still goes up there and soars. I see the eagle up there a lot, you know. Every now and again. But they don't they don't fly as much as they used to. Because there's something toxic in the air. You gotta watch the animals. They know. Because they live off the earth. And it's our job to make sure whatever they're telling us, we're paying attention. So we can try to fix it and slow the process of our death. Because that's not what God intended for us. You know, so. There's my answer, y'all. Y'all wanted to know what I thought about it. And I'm telling y'all about it. Um, <laughs> with Biden on this one. You know, um, a couple of friends may not talk to me tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Yes, right is right and wrong is wrong, you know. Canada, you know, I hope y'all still love me because I still love y'all. You know, I hope y'all don't start mistreating our people when we come through because of it, you know. Um, I hope we can remain and have the same love, you know, that we had in the past. I hope because this one disagreement... It won't be a heartbreak for lifetime, you know, because it, it sometimes you have to disagree. Not all the time, everything is right or perfect, and you have to be able to voice your opinion why, you know, and be able to explain why. What's your thought? What's your theories? You know, and for me, you know, a person with sinuses, I can, sinus issues, I can understand. We're tired of being sick because of these earthly things. I told you I could turn a corner and a tree can make me sick <laughs> instantly. I feel it in my head. You know, I could go away, you know, go somewhere else, and I'll be okay. It's all environmental. And I say that because I experience it every day of my life. And I'm not the only one. So it'd be different if I was the only one. You know, or maybe say people that buy it know he may have a few family members that may have some sinus issues or allergy issues or breathing issues. Then I can understand y'all beefing. But when you have, I would say maybe 30 to 40% of the people in America with breathing or breathing problems or sinus problems or allergy problems, asthma, you have to get to the bottom of it. Why? Why? See, y'all running around trying to figure out about cancer, 
you know, and all the other stuff. And I'm not saying that y'all wrong because I want to know too about the cancer because my, my family members, I told y'all, all of them passed away with cancer except for my grandmother, my great grandmother, Tina. Um, however, nobody's investing in why we are having environmental issues and people are running around with can't with, with um uh asthma and bronchitis, just respiratory issues and allergy issues and sinus issues. They just give us some over the counter medicine and say, just take that, you'll be all right. Yeah, we do for a little while, then it goes away and we gotta pop another pill and pop another pill till it doesn't work anymore. Then they gotta find another pill. That works. And then that pill may not work good for you. So now you got to find something else. And it takes so long to find something. Now you got a sinus infection. Now you got to take some allergy pills. I mean, some um, antibiotics. I'm sorry. Then the antibiotics, you can't take those with so much because then they won't work anymore. Then this is when you, you start getting pneumonia because the, the bacteria won't die in your body. It's a process, people, that we go through. Mm-hmm. Because, and it's all because of the environment. It's all because of the environment. And animals go through it as well. Like the animals out there, the wild, we don't know because we're not close to them. But I've seen dogs have allergy issues. Okay? They'd be so sick because of their allergy. Nose running, eyes running, you know? Smelling all these different things. Like yesterday, I, I spilled gas on my clothes yesterday. And I kept saying, oh, I was worried about, uh, you know, somebody lighting a fire. And, you know, and y'all know I smoke, so I don't want to light no fire and burn myself up. But just the fumes alone was, was killing me. The fumes from the gas being on my clothes. I was so happy to get home and take them clothes off. Because I was walk, walking around smelling like gas and smelling myself. Like, oh, I smell like gas. And it's bothering me. So do y'all see? You know, it's not because they want us to pay all this money out of pocket on that. They got some other things that they, they, they need to work on and they spending our monies. And I could talk about that another day. I'm, I'm just trying to figure them all out. I already started with Easy Pass and the ATM. I talked about that. Um, well, no, I didn't talk about it on the podcast. I talked about it with somebody else, you know. But there's so many other things where there's monies that they just stealing from us that they can give back. So we'll have the money to pay for these high gas prices and these high oil bills. But they got to figure it out. So y'all got to give them time to figure it out. But the environment needs to be taken care of. If your environment, if you're, and just look at it. I want y'all to look at this. You got some people out here. I'm one of them too. And I got a lot of friends that's like that too. If they house, if they live in, environment is not right, then they're not right. They're, they're uneasy. Same with our environment outside. If every time you go outside, you're getting sick, it's unhealthy for you. Nature, we need nature. We have to have nature. Just to be able to stand outside and take a deep breath and get what God wanted us to get from from the trees that he put out here. You know, it's a lot to this thing. And y'all need to understand it. So y'all learn to stop always beefing about things that that doesn't make any sense. You know, y'all would turn something that's so small into a huge ordeal when the common sense of it is what matters. And y'all have to look at that, you know. 
We got to start putting common sense in, in, into the people. You have to think. 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 Take your time out to think. Now, we're not saying that. Maybe later on, when we can figure out how to keep leaks out of pipes or a different type of tubing, you know, to help keep the spills and stuff down and the leaks, you know, it's like my ceiling was leaking recently and my landlord said to me, he said, well, I made an access panel. I said, why would you make an access panel? He said, because it's going to happen again. I said, what do you mean it's going to happen again? It's a pipe. It's going to happen again. <laughs> and I said, okay. That's just what it is. Pipes leak. So y'all just have to understand the, 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 the common sense of it. And that's just the bottom line. You know, I have no more to say on it. Like I said, I know a lot of y'all going to be angry with me. And then some of y'all may actually understand what I'm talking about, being that it was explained to you. And see, this is the thing that the government, they're lacking. Explanation. (laughs) You have to explain to the people why you're doing something. The pros and the cons of why it's being done. If we don't do it, this is what's going to happen. If we do do it, this is what's going to happen. Then people will understand. Stop always making it a fight. It's pros and cons. That's it. This is why if this happens, if we don't do it, this will happen. If we do do it, this is what's going to happen. It's simple. Y'all make things harder than what they really are. And then y'all want to beef about it. Y'all find everything to beef about. Everything. And it just pisses me off. It could be the smallest thing. And you're sending yourself like, who raised y'all people? Really? Really? But that's what this world has came to. This is all they know is drama. This is what the world loves. But don't you hear the world crying out now for peace? Good vibes. Love. Because they're tired of the drama. People are tired. People are getting to the point where they're saying, you know what? These, these people ain't going to stop, so I'm going to just go ahead and die. And this is real talk. Because they're tired of the drama. They just don't want it no more. You know? Some people kill their fat self fast with suicide. Others kill their fat self fast with food. You know? They, they find a way. Because they're tired. Because it's always something. People get tired. But with that being said, I'm going to leave y'all there. Whoever's mad with me, oh well, you'll get over it. Well, this is Jacqueline Richardson, Miss JJ Diamond, Jackie, Deja, whatever y'all call me. And I love y'all all and I will always keep y'all informed on how I feel about situations that our government is making to protect us. If I feel that it's right or if I feel that it's wrong. I'm not on nobody's side. I'm on my side because I want to live. And I want people to live as well. Y'all take care.